Perez, joined by Wendy Williams. Yay. Now, I almost don't want to do it, but I have to ask, first question, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. It's very nice to be here with you. I know. You're in Los Angeles. What brings you out here? And I'm here to promote, you know? Yeah, you got lots to promote. Well. Do you, do you have a, uh, but you're also some time off. Do you have any fun plans for your summer break? We're going to go to Hawaii. Ooh. We've never been to Hawaii. Ooh. So it's just going to be the three of us. Is that it? And it's exciting for you? Yes, it's very exciting to be traveling with them and to not have to be on the clock at all. And we're not the sightseeing family. You're not. Oh, you see, I love sightseeing. Oh, no. That's why Hawaii is like, it's a little too relaxing yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, relaxing is good. <laughs> relaxing is definitely good. And then um, in August, um, we are kicking off, well, something very special. They don't really want me to talk about it. Okay, but it's something promoting, you know, the talk show. And it has to do with coming to a city near you. Ooh. Yeah. Now, the talk show's been picked up for the third season now. Yes. And... You know, you've been doing it for a long time, like working in show business. Yeah. Uh, but this show, it took a while later into your career. It it really did. Why do you, why do you think that was? Well, you know what? I did my first TV pilot back in maybe 1993. And when you got the show picked up and mm -hmm. it's been going now, you, you left the, the radio show, though. Immediately. Do you, were you nervous about that? Was that a big decision yes. or you, you no, were? Um, so I knew that I had to give up radio totally focused on TV. TV is not something I'm familiar with. I know that people equate them, radio, TV, similar, similar. No, they're not. And there, I was leaving radio an expert in every aspect of it, entering the TV and only knowing how to be Wendy. But there are other things that I had to know also. Um, but, but I am a, a body broad from Jersey. And... That doesn't. That isn't necessarily something that everybody's used to seeing. No. You know. I mean, there are a lot of there are a lot of you know outspoken, yet emotionally sappy because I cry a lot on TV too. Women on TV, but there are none that are six feet four in heels. You know. Um, I feel like I'm an enigma, um, and I and it no longer shocks me when people have to give my show the double stare. But I promise that if you watch for one show, you're going to find something about the show that you like, including the host. Hey! I think I need a stool. Okay. Honestly, how tall bad. are you, Snooki? I'm 4'9". Okay. I'm 5 feet 11. How tall are your heels? Uh, three inches, maybe. Okay. Mine are five. The unmitigated ready? gall. Ready? Are you ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> and I've seen your son on the show. Yeah. And seen you cry. And yeah. it seems like you, you take that role very seriously. I do. All right. <clears throat> you said you like to cook. Are you like the, the, the kind of mom who was like in New Jersey there baking and bringing stuff to the school? No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, for the, the stuff for the school, I must tell you, I buy. Like, so if okay. they eat chocolate chip cookies, <laughs> I'm going to buy some Entenmann's or something like that. But... But I am the type of mother that at 5 o'clock, I'm watching the TV, because my show repeats in New York at 5 o'clock. I do watch myself. I know, you know that might be... <laughs> no, I, it's good. I watch for a multitude of reasons. You can learn better. Whether it's to criticize, uh, you know, uh, my thighs, or compliment a joke that I might have told somebody, <laughs> or said, you know, the Hot Topics are really good, or whatever. I, you know, I watch, I watch my own show at 5 o'clock, but I'm also cooking dinner at that time and, and in the kitchen, and our son is also doing his homework at that time. So the show is oftentimes on mute, so all I'm doing is catching a, a look see and stuff. But but yeah, you know what? I, I I am a modern day housewife who happens to have someplace fabulous to go every weekday. I have something super fun now. I have some questions that some of my readers have for you. Okay. Uh, let's start with Mars, who wants. To, oh, we we talked about that one. Next, uh, with Christian G wants to know if you could wake up next to anyone tomorrow morning, who would it be? Benjamin Let's... and Franklin. <laughs> Lots of it. That's a good answer. Yeah. Uh, Carol, Carol R. wants to know, will you make your boobs any bigger? No. No. <laughs> I'm glad she said make because I know I'm a statuesque woman and people would think that these are natural or whatever. But no, you know, you know, I am a natural A cup. An A, B, floppy and fatty. <laughs> um, no, I won't. And they actually look a lot larger on TV, which is the bane. But you like the size of them my now? existence. Would you make them smaller? Uh, no. No, okay. I wouldn't make them smaller because I got them and they're about, 12, they're, my boobs are about 14 years old now. 
and they they're this is their original size that I got and I, if I had known I was going to be a daytime talk show host at that particular time, <laughs> uh, yeah, they would be maybe a C cup. But you know, these fit my chest cavity and these fit my stature. I mean, there's nothing about me that that is small. Man, yes, the boobs are fine. In person, she wanted them bigger. No, uh, no, I would oh, not make them bigger. <laughs> Chris wants to know what's been your most embarrassing moment doing the Wendy Williams show, the talk show. Um, you know, I can't say there's been an embarrassing moment because I love doing that show so much and I am so fine with exactly who I am that I don't mind sharing her with everybody. And I'll remember a day, and you, you know, I wear a size 11, 12 shoe. So here's my stylist. She had these boots. Well, you know, the bigger the shoe, the ankle also has to fit a little bit larger. And the ankle just this day was not going up, not going up. We had three different people and a screwdriver or a wrench <laughs> down there trying to pull the zipper. And now, and you know, we're live out of New York. Feel it, feel it. It's time for the Wendy Williams show. And I'm standing on my mark and they're still trying to zip my boots. And I very calmly told um, the assistant in the wardrobe, run upstairs and get me my, and I told her exactly what she used to get. She comes back downstairs. Here! Here's Wendy and I'll bump and I had there was it was they were thigh high boots. One was hanging off my foot, <laughs> the other one was in my hand, so I was clunking on a pantyhoe and, and and I had the good shoes in my hands and to me that wasn't embarrassing, that was real. So <laughs> I can't say anything embarrassing is that ever. was a good story though. Yeah. We should try to find that video. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was during the winter, the thigh high boots. Well thank you so much for thank being you for here. Having. Bye. Thank you, bye.